Hi guys and welcome back to Stellar's Creations. And this is the second episode of my third person tutorials. And in this video, I'm going to cover the basics of jumping with a character controller. This episode follows from the first episode of moving with a character controller and root motion. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing I want to do before we get started is I want to add the uh, I want to add two cubes to create a slope and a platform to walk to walk on. So to add a slope, let's uh, right click in the hierarchy, say create 3D object and let's create a cube and let's just move it all the way right about there and we can move it up as well. On the Y axis, let's make it four or we can actually make it yeah let's make it four and then just let's just make it two on the y axis on the position so like that and on the x axis let's just scale it up to let's say three and on the z axis let's scale it up to six like that so that looks about right yes or maybe we can bring it down a bit so let's just make it three and 1.5 like that yes that looks that doesn't look so bad so um let's create another one so let me just select this one and duplicate it and this one will be for the slope so right about there and let's just set its x rotation to minus 45 and we can bring it down a bit like that let's just check it and it looks about it looks about right yes so the next thing is let's just hit play and test it out and yes the character can walk can can walk up the slope but the problem is it cannot walk down the slope again so we need to fix that because at the moment he's actually floating in like he's floating in the air yes and we really need a a, a camera controller as well so yeah as you can see he's still floating in the air and he'll he'll continue to float in the air because there is no gravity or there is no air controller or no jump controller and stuff like that so uh, that's what i'm going to do in this episode so yeah let's open up the script so there will be in the scripts folder and let's open a player controller script in visual studio okay so inside of visual studio first thing i want to do is i want to add a few methods uh, a few variables sorry so um, that will be public float uh, jump speed a, a public float variable for jump height and a public float variable for gravity and then let's create a private ball for is jumping and another vector tree for velocity for velocity and then let's go down to the fixed update and let's remove this on ground method we can just remove it like that and let's take these two lines and just go paste them inside of the fixed update like that and then we can remove the on ground method and let's create another method called jump so it's just a simple method for jumping and then we can set the input for the jump method so that will be um, if input dot get key key code dot space and that would be jump so in the jump function or method we are going to set the is jump so that will be is jumping equals to true because when we press the space bar um, we want to set this jumping to true like we want to say okay now the play is jumping 
and then the next thing that we want to do is let's add the velocity of the animator so let's say velocity equals anim dot velocity times the jump speed so like that and then let's set the velocities the velocity dot y as well so that will be velocity dot y equals math f dot sqrt that will be square root uh, two times gravity times jump height so it will be times the jump the jump height cool but the character still won't jump or the character controller still won't move even though we have done even though we've set it here to jump so the next thing to do will be the following that will be now to deduct the gravity from the velocity dot y yes or the de deduct the velocity dot y from the gravity either way you want to put it so uh right underneath the where you get the input let's say if jumping or is if is jumping is equal to true then we'll say velocity dot y velocity dot y minus equals gravity gravity times time dot delta time and we'll set the character controller dot move so that will be char control dot dot move and then we'll set the velocity times time dot delta time velocity times time dot delta time and then in the next line we just want to set the is ground to to false so we'll say is jumping equals character con controller so that will be char control that is grounded and we just want to set it to is false so we're not on the ground we're in the air and then let's just set the root motion equals to vector tree dot zero like that else so this will be now this one is for when <laughs> when the player is in the air and the next one will be for when the player is on the ground so we'll just set that to when the player is on the ground there we go so when our player is on the ground We want to set the character controller, so that will be char control dot move to root motion plus vector tree dot down times the character's controller's step offset. The reason why I'm doing it like this is because um, when you walk up a slope. Uh, the character controller in the inspector automatically gives you a step offset um, variable so for step down meaning that you want to go down the slope now you have to set it automatically so that's what I'm doing here I'm getting the step offset uh, for the to go downwards for the downwards um, direction or just to go down the slope yes that will stop our character from floating in the air and then let's just set the root motion back to vector tree dot zero like that and then we seem to be done with the script so if we save it and go back to unity okay so now we are inside of unity uh, back in unity and the next thing I want to do is I just want to set these values so let's make the jump speed to something like one and set the jump height to something like four or maybe three and let's set the gravity to something like 20 yes let's make it 20 
and let's test it out so previously our little guy went up the slope yes but he couldn't come back down so it's like well, he was like floating in the air and also when you walk off he couldn't he couldn't actually fall down he was still floating in the air and we couldn't jump so right now we are able to jump so yes our character can jump now and let's see if there's a little bit of jump movement so that actually looks pretty cool though and yeah so that works so the next thing i want to do is i want to add a few animations so that will be just a jump animation so let's just get out of play and let's come to the animator so let me just put this over there and click on the animator to open the animator window and we are still <laughs> at one state so let's just add a few animations so inside of the animations folder let's just look for the jump loop and drag and drop it and the jump end as well drag and drop it we will not we're not going to use the um the jump start because some other reasons though so yeah let's just add a few transitions as well let's make a few transitions like that and let's add one parameter so that will be a boolean for is falling so yeah and let's just set it so we can we can disable the has exit time and just add the condition is falling is equal to true and over here let's disable the has exit time again and set is falling equals to false like that and if we test it now it it won't work because we have to put it in the script so let's just go back to visual studio and let's just come to the part where he's actually in the air so where he's in the air we'll say anim dot set bool because we've selected the boolean a boolean variable and we will say is falling the same way we typed it is equal to true like that and let's come to this one as well and we'll say anim dot set bool again is falling but this time we'll set it to false and I'm noticing something this shouldn't actually be here so let's just remove it like that and that's not looking so bad all right let's save our script and go back to unity and if we test it now everything should be working pretty fine So when we jump, the character is jumping. Yes, the jumping animations are working pretty fine. But I'm still noticing something that I don't actually like, but I did not uh, budget for. So let me just focus on James. I actually want to do it like this. Let's just set the jump height a bit higher, like that. And... Yeah, let's see, let's see. So when we jump, the character jumps, but before he hits the ground, there's that pausing moment where the character controller is touching the ground, but then the animation is, isn't in sync. So it's a little out of sync. Let's try it again and let's just pause. So right about there, it's on the ground and the animation it's just not in sync so I'm going to try and fix that in future tutorials but um, that's actually it for this tutorial so thank you so much for watching this video and sticking all the way all the way through to the end I really do appreciate the support um, just by watching this video you know you're already supporting me and I really do appreciate you guys so much 
So if you find this video helpful in any way towards your game development journey, I do feel free to hit that like and subscribe button for more content, you know. And the last thing I want to say is, you know, stay safe and we'll get started in the next video.